Welcome to Shrink Wrap Hawaii. I'm Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a marriage and family therapist. And today I am really excited to tell you that I have the executive director of NAMI Hawaii. That's the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And we're excited for Kumi McDonald to be here because this Saturday is a very, very important day, probably the most important day of the year for NAMI Hawaii. Is that right, Kumi? Yes, thank you for having me back. Oh, thanks for coming. So, tell us about the walk. Well, the walk is this Saturday, um, October 8th, and it's going to start, check-in is at 8 o'clock. We start the walk promptly at 9, and it's a 5K fun health and wellness walk. Really, the goal of the walk is to raise awareness on mental health and say that we as a community member, as a family member, as an employee, or wherever you are in your walk of life, that we care about mental health. And then also, it is a fundraiser. And where does it start? We are at Honolulu Hale on the Civic Grounds, right next to where they set up the giant Christmas tree and the Santa Claus during uh -huh. the Christmas holidays. That big grassy field will be there at 8 o'clock on Saturday, October 8. So <clears throat> the purpose mm -hmm. is to raise some money. Yes. Uh, to raise awareness. Yes. Uh, that's what NAMI does to raise awareness about uh, mental health and mm -hmm. mental illness issues. Um, why is that important? What will awareness do that mm -hmm. well, it's doing? It's a movement that's going across the nation. It's really um, something that a lot of young people are being made aware of and saying it affects us. I believe, you know, a lot of um, mental health conditions show its, you know, first signs in teenage adolescence or young adulthood, like right at like as they enter college is a really difficult time for a lot of people and so a lot of high schools and college um, students are really made aware so the movement is really picking up steam and so the NAMI walks is all across the nation at various mm. times of the year so every state will have one and so it's a really exciting time it's something that um, Every year, even in Hawaii, the numbers keep rising in attendance. And it's a, it's a fun day, but it's also a, a really important day to say that we care, that we want to make others know that mental health is something that affects one in five of us in mm -hmm. Hawaii. Mm -hmm. That's your neighbor, that's your family, that's your friend. So it's a, it's a really important um, event, and it's, it's gaining a lot of movement. And... Um Full disclosure, mm -hmm. um, I must say that NAMI has made an enormous impact on my life mm -hmm. uh, because I've been <coughs> personally affected. Mm -hmm. uh, my son uh, was diagnosed some years ago, and when that first happened mm -hmm. in, in our family, mm -hmm. And I've seen this happen again and again uh, with other people who are also affected like this. You feel very alone. Yes. You, you just don't know what hits you. Yes. Uh, it's something you don't expect, you don't hear about, because people mm -hmm. don't talk about it. Exactly. It's not like, you know, you break your leg and you tell the story about how you went to the hospital and you got it fixed. Yes. Or it's not even a, like even cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be a big taboo yes. to talk about cancer, mm -hmm. but now it's talked about a lot. Yes. Right. Um, but mental illness, mm -hmm. schizophrenia, bipolar, depression. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shame. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and so this shame causes a stigma, or vice versa. I don't know which mm -hmm. came first. And people are scared because yes. there's this fear if they find out at work mm -hmm. that I have a mental illness, that I'm mm -hmm. coping with a mental illness, mm -hmm. or my friends, or if you're in college and somebody thinks you're crazy, mm -hmm. uh, you can't have that. And then there's, you know, denial yourself yes. because whatever you're dealing with, that's all you know. You have yes. nothing to compare it to. So NAMI gave me a place, first of all, where I went and got myself educated. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though I'm a therapist, I did not know how it was going to affect me and my family. Yes. 
And so NAMI pays for, I mean, that's what the walk helps support, exactly. right? A free education class, a series of 12 classes. Yes. Right? Like, what are they, like two and a half hours each yes. on a Saturday morning? Mm -hmm. Absolutely free. Mm -hmm. And then I started attending the, um, uh, the support groups. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I attend, since I live on the Wynwood side, is at Castle mm -hmm. uh, Hospital, the fourth Tuesday of each month. And I attended that for a long time. And then the person facilitating it left. And so I ended up facilitating yeah. it. Now I've been doing that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And it's what I've learned doing that is that the first time somebody shows up at a support group meeting, mm -hmm. hopefully I remembered to bring a box of tissues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the first time that somebody can talk about their loved one that has a mental illness mm -hmm. and what it's doing to them and their family and talk about it in front of people that are dealing with the same stuff, there's tears. Yes. Lots and lots of tears. Mm -hmm. it's, and it's not, it's, yes, there's sadness, but there's also relief mm -hmm. to f be among people who get it. Because even though I'm in the field, you, you don't get it yes. unless it happens to you. Absolutely. And, uh, and it's an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. And so I continue to go. I'll probably mm -hmm. go forever. Mm -hmm. And um, I am so grateful for NAMI. Yes. Um, I never knew it existed. Mm -hmm. I think most people still don't know it exists yes. because you wouldn't have a reason to know it exists unless you need help. Yes. And that's part of what the walk, I guess, is about is putting our name out there yes. so people know that there's help. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so NAMI does. Um, provide all of our programs free of charge. We provide family to family classes, support groups. We have NAMI on campus clubs. We have awareness events. We have minority mental awareness event that we just had with Dr. Alana Coffey, who was a previous guest. We also do conferences and go out to different businesses and schools and universities and s share and speak and bring awareness. So all of our programs are free. But it does it does cost money, right, so right. this fundraiser really the office is isn't free, right? <laughs> you got to pay rent. <laughs> yeah, we have to pay the rent, and we have to pay for paper, and uh -huh. we have office supplies. So it really is funds that helps keep this organization running, and many of uh, the NAMI Walk participants will be family members who go who were deeply impacted by the programs that we provided just like yourself just mm -hmm. like myself mm -hmm. and we every family can share a story I think like it's the statistics say one in five mm. everyone can share a story about a time when someone in their family might have had a depressive episode or had um, some type of a a smaller mental health condition but there are other serious mental health conditions such uh, illnesses such as um, bipolar schizophrenia major depression that really is again another overwhelming um, illness that the family has to deal with overwhelming yes. is the perfect word yeah. um, because you really don't know what to do and then is coping with your own guilt about yes. the issue which doesn't help mm -hmm. and uh, most of the mental illnesses we we're talking about really don't have they're, they're chemical mm, yes and uh they used to think that schizophrenia was caused by you know bad mothers mm. and uh we've learned that that's not true yes at all. absolutely and because uh, we don't accuse parents and say well you were a bad parent that's why your child is struggling with an illness or you're right. a bad parent because your kid has a um struggling with type 1 diabetes or leukemia or whatever, right, whatever right. it may be and we right. don't we don't do that and that's the same thing with a mental illness it's it's something that is not your fault it's not the family's fault it is a chemical brain something in the brain i'm not a medical doctor but that is what the research continues to show. Right, and as a parent or brother or sister, you can't help but think, oh, if only I could say the right thing. Yes. Right? If only I didn't say this or I did say that, you mm -hmm. know, you think, and it's ongoing. It is. It's not like it a one-time thing. It's like even now I think, all right, should I do this or should I do that? Mm -hmm. 
And there's, you know, I've also learned great books, like that book, uh, uh, I'm Not Sick, I mm -hmm. Don't Need Help. Yes. You know, uh, written by Dr. Amador, mm -hmm. who had a brother struggling yes. with schizophrenia, I believe. Correct. And it's a very good guide on how to talk to your loved one. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm because we, we can use a lot of help. Absolutely. And I think, like you said, like families, you know, sometimes we don't know how to communicate and we don't know what to say. We don't know how to respond, how to set the boundaries. And that's really what family to family is all about. It's families getting together. We learn from a, a t two teachers that have actually um, lived through that experience. Yeah. and have family members in that same experience. And so they teach, they get specially trained, and it's a, you get a big binder, and it's a wealth of information. I go back to the chapters all the time when I go, what was that chapter on communication? I look it up. Yeah. What was that chapter on setting boundaries? Because again, these issues continue to come back, and it's just a really good tool book that that you can just have in your resource and, right. and so it. often um, mental health issues are mixed up with addiction issues yes there's so much dual mm -hmm. diagnoses yes. as they call it yes. and it's uh, you know because people try to self-medicate yes you know people who are mentally ill most often don't want to take their prescribed medication, but mm -hmm. they'll drink. Yes. <laughs> or they'll smoke pakalolo. Yes. Right? And mm -hmm. believe that that's helping them. So it's really uh, important to learn how to help and how not to help. Exactly. Absolutely. And it's the support groups are another thing you mentioned, and that's where families come together and share their stories. And so there are kind of resources for each other and say, this worked with my family, this is how I communicated mm -hmm. with my daughter, my son, and they share their stories and support one another. And that's so important. That's so important. So important. I, 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 mean, I always go, I think, <laughs> ironically, everybody comes away from those meetings feeling like, oh, well, their problems are worse than mine, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is helpful in a funny way. Yes. Uh, I mean, obviously, they can't all be right. right? <laughs> But it feels like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, maybe it's that feeling of connection yes. to other people who get it. Exactly. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How many years has NAMI been in Hawaii? We've been officially a state organization of the National Alliance on Mental Illness as of 1991. So wow. it's been a while. 25 but years? Yeah. I can't do the math. Is that right? I think so. <laughs> it's a good place we could do the math while we're on taking a break. Don't go uh, away. Don't touch your mouse. We'll be right back. Oh. Aloha. My name is Josh Green. I serve as senator from the Big Island on the Kona side, and I'm also an emergency room physician. My program here on Think Tech is called Healthcare in Hawaii. I'll have guests that should be interesting to you twice a month. We'll talk about issues that range from mental health care to drug addiction to our health care system and any challenges that we face here in Hawaii. We hope you'll join us. Again, thanks for supporting ThinkTech. Hello, my name is Crystal. Let me tell you, my talk show, I'm all about health. It's healthy to talk about sex. It's healthy to talk about things that people don't talk about. It's healthy to discuss things that you think are unhealthy because you need to talk about it. So I welcome you to watch Quok Talk and engage in some provocative discussions on things that do relate to healthy issues and have a well-balanced attitude in life. Join me. Welcome, welcome back. This is Steve Katz again, still with uh, Kumi McDonald, <laughs> and uh, talking about our walk on Saturday, October 8th, starting at 9 a.m. Yes. Check-in starts at 8, yes. and it's in front of Honolulu Hale, the, where the Christmas decorations usually are by Santa. Yes. Right? So, uh, so you, you said that this is our 10th annual walk? It is. It's our 10th annual walk, and... Um, this year is going to be a really fun one because we're going to have Kaleo KP Pilanka, who was 2015's best MC oh, awardee cool. from the advertiser. Oh, wow. So he's a really funny comedian, uh -huh. great MC. He also works at the state hospital. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's going to be emceeing. We have this amazing 12-year-old guitar phenom who's going to come and wow us. He does concerts all over the world. Oh, wow. So he's Elvis Imamura, so he's going to do some entertainment. And we're going to have lots of fun kids' games and activities, bouncy house, face painter, balloon artists. Oh, wow, fun. And, and we also have Dr. Alana Coffey coming. Oh. You interviewed her yeah, yeah. In, in the past. She's a great um, psychologist. Uh, she's actually a um, Ph.D. psychologist. Uh -huh. And she will bring a whole crew with her of therapists oh, wow. to offer free advice Right. Ask oh, really? the therapist. Set. Yeah, <laughs> ask the therapist. Wow. So um, we'll have Remington Massage. We'll be giving away free massages right there. Oh, wow. So we're going to have some really um, wonderful things happening this Saturday. And it's, uh, there's no charge to walk? It's absolutely free. You know all the other ones that they, the big pink or green uh, other events that uh -huh. go around the in the year, they charge upwards of thirty, forty dollars to uh -huh. register. Our registration is free, uh -huh. so you can just come on down. You can sign up on walk day, and it's just going to be a great fun day. Rain and people or shine. can sign up online too. We encourage everybody to sign up online uh -huh. so that we can um, prepare for you. And if you get a hundred dollars worth of donations, which is really easy to do, you'll get a free walk T-shirt. Oh, cool! Yeah. Yeah, and it's really easy. Like Steve, you have been one of our top fundraisers. And so, you know, it's just a matter of getting it out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, emailing all my friends and just people. You know, I really ha I want to say thank you to my son because the reason that I've been able to do so well with my friends and family who, well, because they're generous, that's mm. number one, but also because the email that I've sent around to people to ask them to donate money to NAMI has my own story, which is really my son's story. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son has been incredibly brave mm -hmm. in sharing his story with the world, yes. really. Because, you know, when you send it out, I put it up on Facebook, other people repost it, mm -hmm. and so it's out there uh, what he's been going through, mm -hmm. some of it. And um, I, that's the most powerful thing yes. that a person can do, mm -hmm. I think, to uh, eliminate the stigma. Yes. Is when you can stand up and say, hey, this is something I deal with. Yes. Absolutely. And this is something I'm still dealing with. Mm -hmm. And that I want to share with the world because that's the only way that we're all going to learn to work with mm -hmm. mental illness, yes. not against, but with, which is very important yes. because as a family, you work with your family member, yes. not against. Absolutely. Right? It's, it's very important. Um, I was reading this great book called Voices of Hope, mm -hmm. which is, uh, talks about working with it and talks about how mental illness is dealt with in other places. Mm -hmm. Uh, unfortunately, Hawaii, the last time I read about it, we were ranked 49 mm -hmm. out of 51 states in services for mental health. Yes. And that's another reason NAMI Hawaii exists, yes. is to try to change that. Absolutely. And it's very difficult to change because people and families dealing with this are already stretched to the limit to try yeah. to influence the legislature to mm -hmm. put money towards this problem mm -hmm. uh, is very difficult. It is, and people always say that to me. What does your organization do to help the homeless or this bigger issue? And all I, I'm a family member just like you. I'm a person living in recovery from mm -hmm. major depression. So I vocalize my story, but I just tell people we're just a small organization. Right. But if people come out, can you imagine if 10,000 people showed up on Saturday to walk, how that would make a change in this government, sure. in the society, and say, wow, this is important. We better take a look at this again. Right. So that's what really we're trying to accomplish. Sure. I mean, if you look at the history <clears throat> of oppression in yes. this country, whether it's oppression because of race or religion mm -hmm. or uh, uh, 
sexual orientation. Yes. It's people coming out exactly. and saying, here I am, I'm proud of who I am, yes. this is what I'm dealing with, and we need to change it. That's yes. the way change is made. Absolutely. It takes a long time, it takes a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. but eventually um, amazing things happen. And yes. I've seen amazing things happen with my son right now, mm -hmm. you know, and it's about, a lot of it is having hope that things can get better. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes that's really hard. Yes. Um, I mean, most people aren't even aware that you can't get admitted to the state hospital in Hawaii right mm -hmm. now unless you commit a crime. Yes. It's a forensic facility, which means a legal facility, which means you have to have some, you have to be accused of or convicted of a criminal offense mm -hmm. in order to get into the state yes. hospital. That's true. That's insane. It is, that's the <laughs> definition of crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that if you show up in an emergency room with a mental health problem, they're going to ask you if you uh, feel like killing yourself or somebody else. And if you say no, they're going to say, there's not really much we can do for you. You can't stay here. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's not places for people to live. There's mm -hmm. not pe places for people to get emergency help or long-term yes. help. The group home situation, there are group homes. They're very difficult. There's waiting lists to get in. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times that's not enough care. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need, you know, 24-7 help. And that's, it's expensive, it but it's a mm -hmm. lot less expensive than having somebody go to the ER 10 times a yes. day. Yes, yes. And, um, you know, my own point of view is that it's all about money here. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, the health system is connected to our corporate system, mm -hmm. the insurance system. And exactly. So it's really hard to get people to say, no, this problem should not be about money. Somebody's sick and needs help, they, they should get help. Yes, and, absolutely. Um, it's, it's so many things to address. Yeah, and again, that's, I always bring it back down to the walk. <laughs> It yeah. really is the truth, and I really believe in this, that if, if 10,000, 100,000 people showed up, we would make a big statement, wouldn't right. we? And right. we would say, hey, this is something we got to do. And that's the small step that each individual can make. Right, and, and that's free. It's free. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. You're going to have a good time, yeah, yeah. and you're going to make Everybody's a always chatting along yeah. the walk. I mean, it's not a race, right? Yes, and we're going to have wonderful prizes. You can win some fabulous prizes, and you get a, if you come early. First I'll give anybody that comes up, I guarantee they come up and ask me, I'll give them a kiss. Okay. <laughs> and Maybe that'll yeah. get people not to come. We even have uh, um, free goodie bags, a first come, first serve, but we have... Ah several hundred goodie bags to give away um, with all, lots of gifts in there so it's a it's gonna be a great day but yeah. again it's just about just every human being if every one person could just do their part yeah. yeah yeah and it's it's not like it's not fun it is fun to yeah, come down and walk absolutely. I'm always having a good time with the people there and some people can't walk then they could be a virtual walker uh -huh. register online and still be a virtual walker or just be the person that say, well, I can't donate any money, then you don't have to donate. Why don't you forward it on Facebook and Instagram right. and get five people to donate $5? Oh, well, that's a great idea because I've had people tell me, oh, Steve, that was a really nice letter you sent me, but I can't afford it. I should say, well, then just forward the letter. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> forward it. Yeah, yeah great absolutely. idea. Great yes. idea. Yeah. So you think we're just going to have to keep doing this forever? I think it's... I would love to keep doing it forever, hopefully, yes, absolutely, but I believe that change is happening. I can, uh -huh. I've been with NAMI Hawaii these past two and a half years, and I've seen tremendous change yeah. in the past two years. Just the, uh, the number of phone calls we get, the response we get, we've received um, national partnerships oh, wow. with two major agencies. So this is in the last year, we've gotten a partnership with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc., which is a national African-American women sorority. Uh -huh. So this is a huge organization that's partnered with NAMI. Oh, that's great. And then we've also partnered recently with HOSA, which is Health Organization Student Association. So there are all these smart students in high school and colleges that are also 
a big, powerful organization. I'm going to stop you there because you just reminded me I was out at the uh, West Oahu mm -hmm. campus of uh, Hawaii, yeah. University of yeah. Hawaii, mm -hmm. and they had their first NAMI club meeting. Correct, yeah. And it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely amazing because first there was a presentation done by one of the members on depression, just mm -hmm. an educational, on um, what is mm -hmm. clinical depression and what it's not. And then afterwards, we all sat together in a circle and I just mm -hmm. asked people, so how come you're here? And mm -hmm. people opened up and shared their own personal story. Mm -hmm. And it was so fearless mm -hmm. and it felt so good. There was an instant sense of belonging yes. and community and people sharing their experiences and there was one of the members there I found out puts up on Facebook like he makes little videos like how to choose a therapist mm -hmm. and I was just like what a brave thing to do yeah. is like no more stigma it's like this is who I am this is where I was this is where mm -hmm. uh, I got to yeah. you know this is what I'm still dealing with talking about medication and how to go about figuring out what's right for you and and being empowered to speak up for yourself and tell your doctor, well, this is what's working, this isn't what's mm -hmm. working, you know, what can we do to fix it? It's just sort of taking control over your own life. And it's neat that these college students are really getting into this movement and really, um, just really interested in helping others, helping themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And they do it better than their own families can do it. Absolutely. Because when Sometimes. you're too connected mm -hmm. in the family, it's hard because yes. your, your, your ego is involved in all this mm. other stuff. The whole child-parent relationship mm -hmm. can be difficult. <laughs> Absolutely. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So NAMI on campus is on three campuses, Kapiolani Community College, UH Manoa, and UH West Oahu. So if you want more information, contact us again at namihawaii.org. We'd get you connected. Yeah, and I don't know if it's true on all the campuses, but on the West Oahu mm -hmm. campus, the leader there told me it's open to anyone. That, you don't yes. have to be a student there. You can go to those meetings. I think they're the. S I don't want to misspeak, but contact if, us and we'll get. Is that it to on you. the NAMI.org website? NAMIHawaii.org? It's no? so new that it's not up on the web uh -huh. yet, but I can give you the information. Okay, yes. and they can get to you from the website. Absolutely. NAMIHawaii.org. Yes. And what is there a different website for the walk? You can go to our website, and there's a link to the walk site. But uh -huh. the walk site to register is NAMIWalksHawaii.org slash Hawaii. NAMIWalksHawaii. <laughs> Nami oh, there it walks, is. There it NAMIWalks. is. NAMIWalks.org slash Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Hope to see you all on Saturday. Thank you for joining me, Steve Katz, and Kumi McDonald for another hopefully fun episode of Shrink Wrap Hawaii. See you next time. Aloha.